four guys, three bikes and one support car. Travelling 16,000 kilometres around Australia to highlight positive environmental action. Yeah, everyone, it's Matt Coggan here from My Power. They're called My Power and they're filming their journey to bring us environmental tales from their travels. Hi everyone, it's Matt here from the Uni of New South Wales. We're in Tathra today and this is our first documentary from the My Power Tour. What we'll be doing today is going to a public school and talking to the kids there about the challenge that we've set up on the website and we'll also be talking to one of the local gurus of environmentalism, Matthew Knott, about the work he's been doing with the surf clubs in the area trying to promote environmental sustainability. Matthew Knott is a man with a mission. He's trying to convince towns up and down the coast to adopt local targets of 50% energy reduction and 50% renewable energy by 2020. If we show leadership uh, on climate change and start putting a hand to businesses and saying, look, bring your renewable energy company to us, yeah. we put ourselves in a strong position. Yeah. And that's already starting to happen to some extent. Part of the campaign involves surf clubs like the one at Tathra. Seven clubs have agreed to power up using renewable energy. Club members are lining up on beaches along the coast to spell out the need for urgent action. Shire councils in the area are heeding the call. We've got um, Bega Valley, Yurubadala, Kuma Monero and Snowy River Shires to agree to that target. And then early next year if we get Palarang and uh, Tumut, we've almost got Kyle Electra to be Monero. The Tathra Surf Club is powered by wind and solar. It would be great to see a number of other surf clubs follow suit in this regard. Because what the My Power team have learnt is that the surf club can be very effective in being the social hub for the community. <laughs> <laughs> 